Okay. I have a mess. <laughs> a big mess. Oh. Jeffrey, I found my box. <laughs> yeah, Jeff threw my box away. Oh, no. Shame on uh, he, I blamed it on him. I asked him if he'd seen it. Okay, so the other day, this was laying on the counter. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to turn that into a, a, a little journal, right? Absolutely. Uh-huh. So today I'm looking for it because that's what I'm going to work on. And so here I am. I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it. And, but it's gone. You know, I'm looking for it everywhere. And the silly thing is gone. So I asked Jeffrey if he had seen it. He said, no, I haven't seen your box. If, if it's a little box, I put it in the, a bigger box so that you can take care of all the boxes at once if it's coming. You know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. Ah, I can't find it. So I went and got another box. <laughs> <laughs> I, I opened I opened the new box and, and put it um put it out so that I can uh let's see here. Why is that there we go. So hello Miss Barbara. Hi Janet. Hi Janet. Hi Janet. I'm just cleaning up. Anyway, so now I have two boxes, but this one's bent, so I don't know if I'm going to use that one. I'll probably use this one. So I'm just trying to clean up because my table is too messy to work on. I think I've about got it. Oh, how come? Uh oh, I lost Jamie. There she is. Okay, she... I lost. I lost you. You there disappeared. Oh, okay. Can. I don't know what happened. I, I would oh, okay. lie if I guessed. I would. It would be a lie. Okay. Hi, Janet. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Kathy. Hey, um, y'all. I'm going to make Jane. No, I'm going to put mine out for up beside her so she can see. So you can see. Just a minute. I got to move this mess. This so y'all saw this, one of those no, papers stuff. that Tanya did the other day, and. Before her show was even over, I was emailing her begging for a copy. <laughs> so I got one. Um, so I got, I got, this is the original. And then that was original from last Thursday. And then Sunday I had made a, a copy, but I changed it a little bit by changing the brightness and the contrast but then look what jamie has done let me make you big okay i just printed out just the regular one because that's what i'm going to play with mostly today probably I, I don't i don't know what i'm doing then mm -hmm. i printed it out like this which is Isn't super cool? cool i don't know uh if i changed the color if i changed the filter or what but actually these these look almost like uh embroidery stitches on there so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. and then i changed it again and it came out like this so i don't know what i did but i like it mm -hmm. <laughs> they all seem to be happy together so. yeah hi gail and julie and Hello. joy and patricia anyways so um now that i have an actual desk and i can actually function kind of i mean there's a little room um we we did not make any specific plans for today because um my brain is just on vacation right now uh we've had a lot going on and so um i, I didn't even get home until about an hour and a half ago uh, I thought I had, you know, an hour and a half's worth of stuff this morning, and instead it turned into three. So it was just one of those mornings. So I'm going to make a little journal out of this little box. So. Tell you 435 uh, could you stop by Publix and check on that prescription for mom? It's her... The test strips for her meter. Okay. If they don't have them, she's okay because I found the others. I just okay. basically plan to play with this. Now, I saw where um, 
Dee Dee went shopping at the Hobbit Lobbits and they had the clearance thing going on. Bye, hon. So I went by my Hobby Lobby and they had a clearance stuff going on too. Well, guess what? That was another thing that took a while. <laughs> so I got this stamp. I got this one. This this one was uh, two fifty. This one was two dollars, and I got it mostly for for the cancellation. I know how silly is that. And then I got this one because who can say no to another dragonfly? And it you know, layers. I, I put I put that one back. I don't know why. They also had a hummingbird, and I'm probably going to mm -hmm. kick myself for having put it back. I looked at the hummingbird. Mm hmm. But I'm a dragonfly girl, so yeah, I got well, that. And then I got some of those uh, 3D embossing folders. Yeah, I got some of those too. Hi, Janice. Hi, Joyce. Hi. I saw Brittany came in. I don't know who else might have come in, but hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. So I thought I would just play with this and basically plan on doing like a, a journal page. Ah, but of course, okay. my printer prints with the border. I, I don't I don't know Mine how you get rid too. of that. I have I have tried and tried. I've played with it, but I cannot seem to make it do not a border. So. Yeah, I think you have to have a special borderless type printer. And I'm not I'm not even going there. Not even going there. Well, I'm not, I'm happy with my printer, so I'm going to keep it the way it is. So. I am too. Very happy. So, um, yeah, they had a lot of really nice stamps. I didn't buy that. I, I, I'm going to have to do a haul because <clears throat> I was very, very, very bad. Of course, I was also in a busy <laughs> <laughs> A naughty, um, naughty girl. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah, I was very naughty. Um, no, I always I always get that way after I've been up to see my mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> oh, I got up there and she's going, I have an emergency. And I'm like, what's wrong? Um, I have no glucose test strips. I'm like, okay, so did you call them in? I'll make a special run up there, right? Right. Well, I get the box and I look at it. I just picked them up in July. There's a hundred in the in the box, so that means she should have at least thirty left. Where did they go? So, I said, "Well, where where do you keep them? In the drawer in the bathroom." But I've looked in there four times, and I'm like, "Well, maybe they went over the back of the drawer or something yeah. like that." That's really cool to add that like that. So I go in there and I open the drawer and they're right on top. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, okay, what mom. What was up with that, mom? Yeah, I'm like, okay, mom. All right, mom. Anyways, she was just having a really bad day. But she gets really, mm, very, very aggravated. <laughs> Well, and, I know, yeah, because Johnny has the sugar thing, too. And I know sometimes he gets very aggravated easily. Oh, and I can't, yep. and sometimes it's when it's high and sometimes it's when it's low. So that itself is not a signal. Well, we, we, Jeffries gets like that very easily if he gets without food. If he doesn't eat, we're we're in serious world of hurt. Yeah. Um, But, no, she was, just, mom. my mother just gets <clears throat> aggravated. That's just her state of being. Anyways, then I went to Hobby Lobby. So after going to Hobby Lobby, you know, and having everything be on clearance, and they had books, they had books. I'm just going to have to do a haul because, you know, uh, um, yeah. I, I, there was so many books I wanted. Oh, that's even better now. You think? Uh-huh. Well, it just makes me happier that the white is blended out, even though I was okay yeah. with the white on there. I just didn't well, like the white edge, you know, down here it was where it was darker. Mm -hmm. That bothered me. So yes, I'm good now. Janice, my husband gets hangry very easily if he's not careful. Um, Patricia came in. That may be who I didn't say hello to. Anyways, guys, I'm hello. Well, I'm glad everybody's here. 
Um, Jeff gets hangry very, very easily. Um, but anyways, but then there's some issues happening at her sister living place. So that was, we've been, ha that's one reason my, my, my week has just been kind of crazy between Jeff being in the ER and that happening. And yeah, it's just, you know, if it could go wrong, <laughs> this last couple of weeks has been going wrong. Hmm. I just trim all the little thingies off. I've got to turn myself on mute because I'm heat gunning y'all. Okay. Um, I don't know. I've never really dieted, dieted Gail. So I imagine I could get hangry too. I just, um, you know, I, I'm, I guess I'm just, lazy when it comes to dieting i we just i just try to up my game when it comes to cooking is what happens there we go that's a little better um if i cook better then i lose weight <laughs> but i'm not a sweet eater either so that's another part of it i i um as long as i don't buy chips i'm in in pretty good shape all right so how do i want to do this we're just i just want to make a little journal out of this okay. well johnny's been doing most of the cooking which i so appreciate because you just never know what day i'm gonna have a headache yeah i was gonna just say saying. So. Um, and, and when you have a headache, it's just, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, Anymore, Jeff hasn't have wanted to, to eat him. anything that I've cooked lately. That's his problem. Um, it's hot and he's outside working. So he just, nothing, nothing I actually cook does he really want to eat. So I, I, we've been having more salad and sandwiches than normal making sure. journals is irresistible and then it is collecting salad. bows okay I, I am feeling, feeling I'm, I'm doing okay y'all i i am thank you i am doing okay um the doctor ordered more cat or ordered cat scans and i've had issues with the insurance anyway it's that's getting worked out and i don't know i don't think they'll find anything but you know you never know so well all you can do is is um let them try i've got to go see about getting an mri on my shoulder um chiropractor ugh. today said that he really doesn't think he can help it. He told me that last week, but yeah. um, I, I had told him that I had already made an appointment to get that situation started because all of those things take a while. They do. They do. Um, of course, the PAIC, it, when I tell him, tell her I have seen somebody already, she probably will just order it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was a stamp I picked up when I was with Tanya. Ooh, yes, and I'm I I I I should have I should have um you know been bad there. That's where I wasn't very bad, and I really should have been bad that day. Well, I there'll be really another should. time. <laughs> yeah, because you know <clears throat> we can't seem to avoid Houston. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why we can't avoid Houston. Because it's it's right there on the uh, international highway. Yes, I know, and that that's the highway I really hate. So. Yeah. Oh, I understand that. I understand that. Okay. Well, I did a little stamping. Now I don't know what. <laughs> okay. I thought about. I pulled out some napkins because I thought about collaging that on there, which mm. I still think I might do that. Mm. Yeah, Julie, I, I, I hate, I don't mind cooking. 
I hate figuring out what to cook. That's that's the ticket right there. If what if I have. if I sit down and write down what I'm going to cook each day for you know a week, and but then things get all discombobulated and Jeff doesn't want to eat, you know that kind of stuff. So yeah. Okay, so this is going to be my Molly little journal. And I'm putting this little guy inside to make the um, spine stronger. I'm going to use a water brush and um, just water cut. Yeah, Julie, um, those, uh, what is that What is that called? Um, backdoor, something backdoor stamp? This one is dark, dark room dark, door. Dark room door, dark room door. I love those, but they come from down where you live. So, you know, there's not very many places around here that sell them. No, they're not from here, are they? No, they're from down where Julie lives. Oh, Julie lives. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there, there's very, very few places that sell those. They're the only place I've ever seen them down here is, uh, well, you can well, buy. What's a, the name of that? Now I don't even know the name of my own still a store down there. Uh, Texas Art Supply. Isn't That's that what it the is? one. That's the one. Yeah. Texas Art Supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great store. Just saying. It's like a fine art store and a Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Blicks, all put together. Oh, yeah. And, and, and way better than Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They it's, have it's, um, ink refills and um, what you can't get at Hobby Lobby and Michael's. No. Which well, I think and, is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I don't think Blick sells them either, although Blick sells, you know, uh, pencils and all that kind of stuff that are open source. Yeah. They are expensive, but extremely good quality. Yes, and I didn't think they were horribly more expensive than other things. Oh, that's looking really cool. Okay, so we have this. Now, what are we going to put on the they, outside? They really are good. Yeah. we got to have something on the outside of it. We might need to sand it, it a little bit. Be. Maybe we better sand it just a little bit. Okay, that means we need something to stand it on top of. Oh, look, I got all of those I missed. Well, there you go. I, I thought I cut them all out. And they're just hanging out there. I should have left this white. Well, oh, because you're painting it back? Oh. Uh, I'm not a good thinker person in these days. No, yeah. Brain cells, you know, I have none. Yeah, that medication they had me on for a while was enough to really screw me up. And mm -hmm. good Lord, coming off of it. Holy cow. And I wasn't even on it long enough to say I was on it. I wouldn't have thought. But evidently, I was. Yeah, and it's it's medication. That's what they the ER doctor thinks Jeffrey's allergic to is one of his medications he's been on for years. Yep. So, because she said she's seen that twice, where people who've been on the Cinepril for ages had suddenly had a reaction to it. Yep. That white might disappear. They have good stencils too. Hmm. Oh, do they? Because I don't know that I have any of their stencils. Uh, no. I know I do not have any of their stencils, but that's, you know. I'm on mute again. Okay. I just sanded the, um, the shiny off, and so now I have to clean up the mess it made. Because I, I, I'm thinking I'm going to put some kind of paper on it. We'll have to see if it's going to show through. I guess I'm probably going to reach over there and grab a painty paper is my guess. 
because there's some over there. Go on their website and check it out. Um, I'll have to. Uh, of course, after today, I can't spend any money. <laughs> it's going to be a while before I can spend any more money. I was very, very, very bad at Hobby Lobby. Well, I wasn't that bad. Oh, I was very, very, very bad. But I did but get home and find out I had two of those uh, embossing folders already. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah. And I thought that means I could have picked up the other two that I put back. Well, then you know. are you going back this afternoon? No. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not going to go back. Yeah, I couldn't believe they even had anything because uh, Johnny got on to me. He, I told him, I said, well, they probably don't even have anything left because, you know, when they go on clearance at my store, it's like if you're not there as they're marking it down, you're not getting it, right? Well, that's the thing. And I was in there yesterday because I had to be out yesterday, too. But Mom's is basically right across the street. Ah. So, and, and so was, is the chiropractor. So because the chiropractor and moms are both right there, I stopped again this morning. And so I got there about an hour after the store opened. Of course, they probably marked everything down yesterday. Um, but that meant I did get to go in and, um, Oh, good. We're going to get a storm. Uh, Yay. Rain. I got Yay. some of, you know, I was looking for distress oxides when I was out there in the spring. Yeah. And never, and never found any on clearance. And I'm not paying full price for them because I don't think I will use them enough. So that was what I was really after. And guess what they had? They had a few. Can you hear that lovely yep. thunder we're getting? Mm -hmm. yes, I can hear it. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mine didn't have any of that. They had um, stamps and embossing folders and um, a few dies. And um, that was it. Well, the Tim Holtz wall has, has been clearance. So, you know, the, the distress oxides, um, those uh, alcohol inks that are hanging above them, a lot of brewery stuff. Oh, I did get myself a little, little, um, a small, a little jelly plate. Mm. You know, the five by seven one? Yep. Because they had, they had that on sale, on clearance. Um some of the Tim Holtz little bits were on sale. The, the the stamps. And I put the stamps back because, you know, I have a couple of really nice dragonflies. So put the dragonfly back. I did get a stamp set for camping, you know, for trips. Yeah. I got that. I got one for that. Um, then I ran around to the embossing folders. But I didn't get regular embossing folders. I got a couple of the... 3d ones you know mm -hmm. oh that came out great yeah i'm liking that so far yep i wasn't sure if it'd be too blendy blendy it doesn't matter because i have it on the computer i could print it out again again <laughs> there you go Hi, and Shannon. again and again and again two of the okay. same ones uh oh Jamie. yeah Oh, I got the bugs. I didn't get the bugs I really want, but I got those layered bugs. Don't you have those layered bugs? Uh, no, I have the Tim Holtz bugs. Well, Tim Holtz has two bugs. He has one that's oh. paper layers, and then he has the one like you have that has the stamp set. The stamp and the die. That's the one I have. Yeah, I want that one too, but they had the one that's um, the layered bugs one, and so I got that. Because, you know, we have to have all the bugs. We have to have the bugs. I can't stand yeah. it when somebody has something I don't. I can't stand it. I'm telling you. I'm yeah. a collector. But I have to wait yeah. for Clarence. That's right. Clarence is my mm -hmm. boyfriend. 
<laughs> but they don't have they don't have that um that bow set like you have anymore. So well I had to order those uh on Amazon because my store doesn't carry that kind of stuff. Sometimes I mean, you know, they just carry yeah. the little individual kind of stuff. Well, they had had um that particular set for a while but then they didn't then but they don't have it anymore okay that's looking pretty good okay let's see what we can do here what kind of glue do we think we ought to use we probably want to use our yes tape and my husband told me it wasn't gonna rain <clears throat> I told him to go outside and put his cactus away before he left, and he did, but he told me it wasn't going to rain. I finished my first school book. I was using a composition. Wow. <laughs> That's fat, Brittany. Well, we've been getting rain off and on for three or four days. Oh. And it has been wonderful because, you know, we were uh, we were in drought conditions. Yeah. And we finished off. I say we I mean, I'm saying greater Houston area, not necessarily Conroe mm -hmm. uh, finished off with advanced rainfall for August, which is bizarre. But we were still in the deficit because we were in a drought. But we've been yeah. raining. My rain barrels are full again. Yay. And it just makes us so happy to have to mow the yard. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. crazy? It's just crazy? It just happened oh, to mow was... about every four days right now. But you can't because he had to rake because there was so much tall grass because the, um, the, the what you call it, just the, the grass just was no yeah. way to get it to cut in time to not have to rake because he doesn't we don't usually pick the grass up he usually what do you call that mulches it oh, in. yeah he mulches it yeah he it, it, it tore out like 25 pages yeah i always if i use a composition book for something i usually take a bunch of the pages out that Thanks, is for Julie. sure i'm going to step over here and see if i can find a stencil right quick so okay. I can't hear you. Don't talk ugly about me or do. It oh, <laughs> okay. Like I'm going to talk ugly about Miss Jamie. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. One thing about this kind of glue is you sure don't need much. Okay. Bye, Julie. Okay. Okay, let's put this back in there. I want to stick this down. Maybe I need, um, what do I need to do that with? I need a clean card. That's what I need. Like clean. I was talking to myself. But we had rain for 20 days straight, I think. Um, then we went a couple without it, and um, now it's back oh to raining gosh. again. It's supposed to rain all week. Why is it when you want something specific, you can't find it? <laughs> uh huh. Yep, yep. Okay. I need this. I need this because this thing needs to be wet down. I like butterflies and birds and dragonflies and flowers and, you know, oh, whatever else. But bugs are, bugs are, I like bugs too. Ever since I did that bug book where I 
um, took the um, bugs and and took the innards out of the book. I made holes in the book is what I did. Okay. Okay. Your phones are back on. Now I can hear you. Oh, well, I just been talking to myself. Okay. Because I do that, you know, that's just what I do. I have the Greek key one, but I, I, I'm not finding it. So I'm going to use this one instead. Oh, I think that will go with it really well. I think that will be fine. It probably might even be better than using the Greek key because that's already on there. Well, I don't like spiders and snakes either, but um, I do kind of, I kind of like bugs. I don't know why I like bugs, but I do. Now, it depends on the kind of bug too, though, <laughs> because <clears throat> I really, really, really detest roaches. Well, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. The tree roaches, you're, you're talking the tree roaches. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. call them palmetto bugs. Yeah, palmetto bugs. Yep. Uh-huh, yeah. They are absolutely the most grotesque and disgusting things, and they are everywhere. That is why we can't use mulch here. Even even cedar mulch? Uh, well, Jeffrey won't have any kind of um, wood mulch because of termites. Now, cedar might be all right, but um, when we when we we had a bunch of trees cut down, and the guys mulched it all up and left it for us, and right. we were using it on our parking pad. Jeffrey had to pick it all up and take it to the dump because it had termites in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the trees so, probably had the termites in them to start with. Possibly. Of course, you know, around here you get termites just, you know, in everything. Because so. you breeded funny, you got termites. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, that's the sound. I don't like spiders and takes. It won't. It is what it takes to love me. Woo-hoo-hoo. Okay, that is really ugly stuff. <laughs> this is Nouveau Expanding Moose. I Ooh, heard I've it used that for something before. I don't remember I've, what. Yeah, I've used it off and on a fair amount. It is one of those products that has to be babysitted. Someone used that term the other day, and I thought, well, that's exactly what it is. It has to be babysitted. And oh. um, because nice. see, it's in the, the wide mouth. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember those paints that I still have up here? Anyway, yep, they mm -hmm. dry out. And I believe mm -hmm. it's because of the, the jar. Um, oh, yeah, I think so. So these pretty much have to be babysitted. You have to put water in them every once in a while. And by water, I do mean distilled water. I do keep a wet, wet. I mean, this is almost dripping wet in there i keep it in the jar inside a container <laughs> okay so you know i've even got some of this stuff i've even stored it in um ziploc baggies and it still dries out so it's just it's the style of the jar that's what i'm sticking to anyway it is fun if you don't mind babysitting it which means, you know, every couple, three months you go through and you pull it out and stir it up and put waters and stuff like that in there. And one of the reasons it's fun, when you don't squish it underneath the stencil, is um, it puffs up when you heat gun it. Mm. Or... If you don't heat gun it, it will dry all shiny and shimmery. But when you heat gun it, it puffs up and goes matte. Mm. Which is actually kind of cool. The trick is to put on a bottom layer, let that dry natural so that it's shiny. And then you put on a color on top. And heat gun that so that it puffs up and it's matte, but it can be tricky doing all that. See, I, I way smooshed up underneath the stencil on this one. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. That happens a lot. So I know your stencils have to be really, really flat, and this one's got 
I got paint, paint all. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I've got paint build up on it. So, whatever. It'll be fine. You won't notice because I said you won't notice. So, don't notice. Well, you know, most of us don't notice half of what um, we, we would in our own art. We would never mo notice it in anybody else's. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just stuck that to the table, so that means I got to clean my table now too. But I do, I do like it, the moose. It's just, you know, and I don't know how their regular one. Do I have a? I might have a regular one that doesn't expand. I don't know, but I like it. You just got to be willing to babysit. Babysit. Well, yeah, because those those paints that were in that jar. Um, I have some of them, and I've already thrown two or three jars away because they they got so hard and nasty that they were yeah useless. I put um, last year. Was it last year? I don't know because because it pisses me off. Sorry, it aggravates me when I open them up and they're dried up and hard. Yeah, glunky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but I want to use it because I paid for it because I'm stubborn like that. Yep. And I put flow trawl in mine. Ooh. And that helped. It didn't totally diminish it. But but it's in the exact same kind of jar. Yeah. As these. And I think that's what it is. Because remember the um oh, uh, what's that gilding gold stuff? Yeah. Gilding wax. Gilding wax, uh-huh. I can't remember, but it's in a one like that too. And everybody was having the drying up problems with that uh -huh. and keeping the baby wipes in it. I think it's the jar. That's why I'm just real sure it's the jar. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, um, this yes paste dry, my yes paste is pretty thick. I've been putting the baby wipe in it since you told me about that. And, yep. um, but that baby wipe was just as dry as could be just now. Yeah. Isn't that weird? I think it's so weird. Because I keep uh, the plastic over mine as well, and it still it still dries yeah. out. Yeah, it's, I had a ba a wet baby wipe and wax paper. Yeah, so it's got to be the wide lid. Yeah, that's the only thing I can figure. Okay, this thing is just sticky. So I'm gonna try to let Daddy that. Van. No, Daddy Van's doesn't dry because it's more of a waxy product. Yeah, um, it's an I actual wax. About, um, it's called gilding polish, or it, it's, it's not it's rub and buff. Tap. It's that other brand. Yeah, because um, rub and buff has plenty of wax, but any. it doesn't dry. Yeah, it doesn't it? Doesn't actually doesn't dry. Yeah, it will get like a coat on it, but if you rub it, it'll rub off. It will rub mm -hmm. off. Inca Gold, that's the name of it. Inca Gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Okay. All right. So there's, I got the cover on. Now I got to put the inside on, and I have to decide what I want to do about that. What do I want to do about that? So these were some of the embossing folders I got. Ooh. That one looks like tooled leather to me. I like it real well. This one mm -hmm. is the wish flowers, you know, the dandelions. Yeah. And, it, and it's okay. I not sorry I got it, but I could have got something better. I love this one with with the uh tropical leaves on it. Mm-hmm. I love that, that one. That may be the one. No, mine aren't tropical. I have one with leaves on it, but they're not tropical. I would call this one tropical. Yeah, they're a little mine are a little different. And then this is that basket weave one, uh -huh. which I might say really poked holes through here. Yeah. Through my cardstock. It really did, which surprised me because I used the same setting for all of these. Yeah. Did you dampen that cardstock? Yes. I always uh -huh. do, even with regular be, folders. It could just be the, the cardstock, that particular, you know, color. You know, try yeah. it on a different cardstock. And then this one's really cool. It's um, American Indian looking. Yeah. To me. 
or I didn't, um, get, I didn't get too many like that because I have a few and I haven't used them, but I did get a couple of the impresslets where they cut and emboss at the same time. Yeah, see, we didn't have my store didn't have any of those, any of those. So. I'm thinking I'm going to make a little book, too. You're not Ooh. the only one that can make a book, oh, baby. Oh, I'm sure you can make a book. <laughs> I'm, I'm just deciding what I want to do here. I'm just thinking about whether or not I want to um, you can just put this purple on the inside. That would be really just fine. Then I would have a little gold left over. I think that's what I'll do. I think that's I think, what I'll do. I think you should. I want it to go this way. I'm going to put this on the inside. That's my problem. I keep working with wet and glue and wet. And, yeah. And you got to let everything dry. Gotta I'm not a dry. glue stick fan. Well... I'm not, except for certain things, when I'm, you know, it depends on what I'm working on. Um, I much prefer my, uh, that was really good, Tanya. You put that away knowing you're going to need it. Uh, want it now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Barbara. I thought it came out to be a pretty cover. I like it. I'm trying to decide... If I, I'm going to put a closure in it, it's going to be a junk journal. So, you know, do I want to put uh, a ribbon so that I can tie it? Because if I do, I want to put it underneath this. So I got gold all over me. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm usually mm -hmm. not that messy, but oh, yeah. well. It's the way it is today, huh? One okay, that day. little edge is not straight. We need to straighten that edge out. That's what Tiny gets for using her scissors when she cuts something. <laughs> uh, not straight. <sighs> you have to keep straight thoughts when you're cutting with the scissors. Well, you know, for cutting with scissors, it was pretty straight, but it wasn't straight enough to put on the inside of my book. <laughs> Uh, uh, we got to cut all those little white edges off because, you know, I can't have any white edges. Oh, I understand that. Elastic is easier. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a good thought. Yeah. Elastic would be okay. But I'm not sure I want the elastic to... Um, because that would mean it would have to go around the front of the book. What about sure with the, uh, a button? You know, elastic to wrap mm -hmm. around a button? Oh, that might be cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, that might be fun. Mm -hmm. I think I'll put the innards in it and then think about the closure after the fact. Yeah. That would be easiest. I'm, a, I'm all about the easiest. <laughs> easiest. Uh -huh. Hi, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Which usually makes it harder for me later. Yeah, they do make good closures. Um, I, I think this is going to be a little too big for one of those, but I'll have to see. My goodness, I really got that stuff all over me. Holy cow. I probably could elastic in the pages, too. Because that's probably small enough I could do um, elastic bands to put the pages in. I'm so glad y'all are here. I just thought I would throw that out there because it's true. It's very, very true. Did uh, did Mindy come in? I didn't see Mindy come in. Anyways, hi, if Mindy's here too. Hello, everyone. All y'all. 
Okay, I'm going to be really lazy. <laughs> I've I've had my fill of um yes paste, so I'm going to use the glue. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yes paste is it's um special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh -huh. very gooey. Yeah, and, and, it, and yeah, and I'm it's hot in here today, so it's you know. Oh yeah, I'm on mute for the heat gun. Okay. Mandy came in while I wasn't looking. Ah, oh, see, she came in while I wasn't looking too. So anybody who came in while I wasn't looking, I'm really glad you're here. Hello. I have to call Pecola this afternoon after um, after we get off, and because I called her this morning from Hobby Lobby and said that things were finally marked down. It makes me so jealous when you go shopping with her. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right, I'm not. <laughs> I wouldn't be sorry about it. <laughs> we haven't been shopping in forever, though. It has been so hot. Neither one of us even want to go shopping because you get in and out of the car. It's terrible. It is. I agree. And then you have to get back in the car and cool it back off well and it's rained and it's hot and by the time you get to the next place it's just raining and hot and, and miserable miserable so and of course jeffrey and i've been going shopping a lot because we were trying to find santa claus fabric and i'm going to tell you what guys i have one of the he is gone so i can tell you but he picked one of the worst bloody fabrics ever i have to make the suit out of red fur oh my gosh okay do you know what it has been like to wash six yards of red fur oh my, my gosh Ta never apologize for enabling okay i had to cut it in half it would not fit in my wash machine yeah. Okay, I have an extra large front load wash machine so that I can wash my quilts. I yes. had to cut that fabric in half. Oh my gosh. I've and it's red, so I have washed each piece four times. Um he had to vacuum my my dryer out today because there was so much red fuzz everywhere. And I haven't even started sewing it. I just can't even imagine. I can decide to stop or not shop. There you go. <laughs> uh, but there was we just couldn't find anything else. And we have had the worst time finding the right color red. Now, his Norwegian suit, we're going to make uh, sort of a darker maroon red, you know. Yeah. Um, but he's got to have a standard. Uh, he needs he needs to have a standard santa claus uh we call it a coca-cola suit yes okay. you know that that, it, that says it perfectly right and he needs that and and we've we even go, drove clear over to foley to to go to this fancy outlet store over there and however oh i should go get it Sounds like you'll be making a red Bigfoot costume instead of Santa. That's kind of what I'm going uh, to be making. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, plus so I, have to, I have to put white fur Joker. on the red fur. So, and then it has to be washable. So, you know, now I have those issues too. 
Um, I have to go get something though, because uh, while we were getting the red fur, <clears throat> even though I was very bad at the fabric store a couple weeks ago, I have to get show you what I got. So I'm going to get rubber elastics and that at the same time. I'll be right back. This is one of my favorite stencils. It's a badass stencil. That's the name of the company. And it's from iStencils.com. And this one's called Chaotic. It's one of my favorites. I've had it for a really long time. And I think I'm going to try to use it a little bit with this blue one. Let's see if we can get blue all over me. Oh, that one doesn't even have a thing on it. Oh, I must use the blue a lot. Uh-oh. Well, the other thing about the Santa Claus suit is that my husband's too big for the patterns. Oh, no. You have to yeah, size the, it. The patterns go up to extra large. That's it? That's it. Well, that's you not know, a very that's... big Santa Claus, is it? No, it's not. It's ca Jeffrey says that must be a Chinese Santa Claus. Um, I think he's right. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I'm just going to start from scratch and do my own. But at that, that means I have to do two, you know, I have to make two suits, basically, because I have to make... Uh, uh, one out of something else, which is not a big deal. I've got tons of fabric, but the um, the the sizing and everything for and it's not going to be hard. I mean, heck, I used to do this all the time for my kid. Yeah. Um. But look at this fabric. Isn't this just yummy? Oh, how pretty! And that just just. That's gorgeous. Isn't it? But not only that, when we went in this fabric store, which I had forgotten all about right here in town, guess what they have? What? Two whole end caps of Tim Holtz fabric. No way. Yep. Yep. Uh, I asked her about it. I had, I had already picked out this piece, and there is a... There's some rulers and um, uh, rulers and these uh, almost tone on tone butterflies. And there was one other that I thought I really liked, but not enough to not buy this. I bought this instead. Isn't that gorgeous, Janet? That's gorgeous. I just, I just thought it was yummy. And... You know, it's got, I can cut that up in so many ways. So, yes. Um, yes. What does it say on the edge? Oh, who makes this one? Um, it was, I think it's a company I hadn't heard before. Just a minute, I'll find it. I have the rulers one. Well, the one I have is the turquoisey, bluey kind of color with the rulers. Oh, it's a Robert Kaufman. That is so pretty. Okay. Amy Stewart. It's an Amy Stewart design. It's a Robert Kaufman. RobertKaufman.com. And it's called Library of Rarities. Oh, sweet. Design number 19598. Missy thought it was a napkin. No, it's a piece of fabric. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I bought it with the intention of cutting it up into little pieces. Uh, and I am. I'm getting the blue all over me. Uh-oh. I'm going to turn it that's the only place that I know of that I can buy that um, Tim Holtz fabric anywhere around us. Even Margie's doesn't carry it. And Margie's is where I got the other bug fabric. Hmm. So. 
Well, I'm going to turn the heat gun on this time, okay. and we're going to see if it'll puff it. Well, I know it'll puff up. But hopefully just the blue one puffs up and not the gold behind it. No, Barbara, Library of Rarities. Library of Rarities um, is what it's called. Okay, let's see here. I got purple ones. Will these go on? Let's see if these will go on. Okay, maybe we'll just make this a, um, a, a, what do we call that? We call that a, oh, I can't remember where you can take the pages out. Yeah, it's a Kaufman, Amy Stewart Kaufman Library of Rarities. Okay, let's see this. I think this would be good. Um, with three little signatures in it. One, two, three. Midori, thank you, Barbara. My brain is gone. I'm just, it's Midori style. Um, Put the signatures in like that. Isn't that cute? That'll be cute. Okay, now, does one of these fit going around? That one's funky. We'll try this one. Okay, it will fit going around after I get it opened. Yeah, it will fit. So, we'll figure out something. Don't know exactly what yet, but we'll figure out something. Can y'all see where it puffed at? Ooh, uh huh. Which is kind of neat. Um, also, someone had turned me on to the Sizzik Expand paste. Huh. This one, you can add a little bit of paint to it to change its color if you want. This is a, uh, I would call it a off white. Did they, does it have a name? Does it have a color name? Let's see. Blank white. It says white, but it's really an off white. So, but you can make it any color you want to. You can then. add color to it and change it, but you just can't change, put a whole lot of paint in it because the yeah. paint won't necessarily puff up. But what I like about this one is now the blue is all really flat, but the the gold gold is shiny. It's mm -hmm. shiny, and they actually call that one mustard. <laughs> mustard color. seed but it's it's uh to me it's it's aged gold okay now that's kind of weird all right so kind of okay. like that janice says but when you heat it it turns white hmm. oh is that when it turns white because i've done it and i thought it was white too so heating it up makes it turn white. Well, doesn't that make sense? Um, hi, Sue. Um, no, there was no plan. <laughs> the plan was to have something to do that, you know, didn't require too many brain cells today. So yeah. I had this little box or another little box. And I just, I just, I lost this little box. So I had to get a new one out. <laughs> so, um just because i needed some i wanted to do something today that you know was fun and so um i just didn't really plan i just kind of did because and it's a good thing that was the, it's a good thing that was the plan because if i'd have had to have a plan i think i'd have been in trouble because i have no I plan get, yeah i didn't get home and, and my brain is is on vacation and and my mom's room is a disaster and 
They haven't had a housekeeper for um, two months. And, and they raised the price on mom's room. I, I was just in a very pissy mood when I went to Hobby Lobby. Now y'all know why I spent so much money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm -hmm. But if your Hobby Lobby hasn't cleared stuff yet, ours has been, you know, lots of people have had stuff on clearance and stuff on clearance and stuff on clearance. Mine has just now clearance stuff. So, but you know, Jamie, that I have somebody else to go shopping with now when she comes back. Who? Um, Kathy. Oh, heavens. What's Kathy's last name? Her channel is. Oh, I'm having serious. Uh, yeah, it was retail therapy. That is exactly what happened is retail therapy. Um. I like retail therapy too much. Okay. I, I've, I've lost it. it. But it's Kathy and she lives near here. Not here all the time. She is uh, actually um, in, I think she's in Indiana right now. Well, how about that? That has to be a page. Okay. So if that's a page... Uh, let's see here. We're going to fold this like this. And this one like this. And then we'll fold it in half. Because, you know, we got to put the whole piece in there. Kathy Cowell. Thank you, Gail. <laughs> Kathy. Yeah, Calico Kate. Kathy oh, Cowell. Oh, Calico Kate. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, she, uh, they have a, a winter house here and they'll be back in December. She and I went shopping one day. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't find a lot that day, but you know, we, I found a few things. Sometimes that happens like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like that. Okay. So what are these? What, what will these do? These can be something. I'm going to have to start using some of these men folk. <laughs> oh, you got men folks? Well, uh, I seem to be using all the girls and seem to have a lot of men folk. I think these two little boys are creepy. Yeah, they do look kind of creepy. Yes, it's fun. It's really fun. And, and um, both of them like to... Um, what picture... Okay, wait a minute. What was the picture already on the paper? I will show you. It's original. This was the original. Um, just one second. This was the original, and I JPEG'd it and sent it to Jamie because after I painted it, she was like, I need that. So she started with this, but needless to say, you can't see that anymore. Yeah, so I was emailing Tanya for a copy of it before she even finished the show. <laughs> so, okay, so we get we got three things, and I've got I need to make three little piles for signatures. So, I kind of like. I'm just her. gonna I'm just gonna take my scraps out of my scrap. Um, uh, what do you call that? This drawer right here that has scraps in it. That's what I'm making my pages out of. Now, pumpkins are a napkin. Yes. And she put a lot of paint around the edge. Yeah, I put uh, paint around the edge because I had the white border going on. And then I painted a, a little bit of gesso down here so the napkin wouldn't be quite so translucent. Okay, now those I could cut and do. Let's see. I should gather up all my Halloween -y stuff and put it together in my fall stuff, but I haven't done that. I have not done that. 
I've tried to gather Christmassy stuff, winter stuff, you know. Mm hmm. But I, I typically get distracted and, you know, I lose my way. I'm like, oh, well, isn't yeah. that pretty? Uh, you know. Yeah. Like uh -huh. that. We use September. Because it's September, y'all. I don't know where the year is gone. I don't gone. know where it's gone either. It is um, going fast. Like that. Well, um, I can't type in the first place, so <laughs> um, we're making four pages out of that because two is, we're big and two would be little, so uh, we'll just, we'll just, you know, make skinny pages for that particular thing, so, and Sue, as far as what I'm going to use this for? I haven't got a clue. I just wanted to make it. So, you know, that's what happened. I'm just going to make it. So, okay, we're going to fold this one. But and I just thought I would make a journal page because, you know, they're easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as long as great. I don't mind pulling out a bunch of junk. I don't mean junk. I mean treasure. Junk. Yeah, it's it's treasure. It's treasure, treasure junk. Because I'm a collector. That's mm hmm Yeah. I just need to use more than I collect. Ha! <laughs> that doesn't happen for me. I don't know about for you. No, not so much. That's spacey stuff. Let's see what let's see what kind of trouble we have in here. <clears throat> Did y'all see that picture of my newest great granddaughter? I know y'all did. I did. Her name is Clover. Can you imagine? Doesn't that sound cute? That just sounds stinking cute. Uh huh. Hi, Barbara. Yeah, it's fall, y'all. Mm hmm. Fall, y'all. Uh, I don't know where it went to. Uh, speaking of that, I will be gone in October for. A little bit not like we planned and being gone for months but i will be gone for a little bit um because jeffrey wants to go on a jeep ride so we're gonna go on a jeep ride well that'll be fun yeah And it's in North Alabama, so. Ooh, Alabama. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So we will go up there. Go on a Jeep ride. That's a pretty piece. And then probably oh. stay in kind of in North Alabama for a little while. Okay, that's a pretty piece of something. I can make, I can make a page out of that. I can make a page out of that. Gonna do some bamming in Alabama. Mm hmm. Yep, yep. Mm hmm. Okay. I was looking for stuff to make pages out of. Um, even if they have to fold out. What will be made out of? I didn't see a picture. At least I don't think I did. I heard the clover. Oh, clover. Very sweet name. To, oh, Janet's going to make a journal. Okay. Good. I'm going to have to count pages because I didn't pay attention. And now. Um, <laughs> I'm know. not in the habit of counting so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got to tear this piece off. Okay, that's fine. I can tear that piece off. Okay. These are um, stickers. Ooh. And I'm sure I got them off the Amazon. I don't see I don't see a, a package name, but 
you know, those insomnia nights. Those are dangerous. <laughs> Not as oh, dangerous as when I was taking Ambien. That was dangerous. Oh, oh, yeah, that could be that could be a problem. Uh huh. Because that Ambien just really, yeah. It was party time for me when I was awake on the Ambien. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. We got to fold that in a little bit. There we go. This is what you do when you have too much in your junk, in your scrap drawer. What you make, do you do? <laughs> you you, you uh, make a little tiny itty junk journal that, you know, you use your scrap papers for. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now then, that will be just fine. Oh, gonna... But That's I think we'll make two pages out of it. because we can. Absolutely. And why not? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Insomnia purchases, and you know, I don't do that, but you know. If I have insomnia, I tend to get, if I have to get up, I try not to get up because that's a bad thing for me. If I do have insomnia, though, I tend to um, read instead of get on my computer because I just try not to get on the computer. Okay, maybe we better see how many things we have to put on. The well, I get on the computer because I got, you know, my headphones. Oh, mm-hmm. And if I turn the TV on, it, it just gets so loud. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're trying to watch like a movie and it gets loud and then it gets quiet and then it gets loud yeah. and then it gets quiet. <laughs> you got to turn it up to hear the movie and turn it, turn down the commercials. That's um, hi, I'm painkillers after surgery and purchase stuff off the shopping network. Uh-huh. Well, you know that, um, uh, Okay, two times ago, two root canals ago, and I have to be drugged to have a root canal. It's just one of those things. I can't handle it. I'm I'm a baby, I guess, but um, I have to be completely and unbelievably drugged out to do a root canal. So Jeff takes me <laughs> to Hobby Lobby because Tanya says I want to go to Hobby Lobby. And so he takes me to Hobby Lobby, but then he leaves me in, <laughs> in the art department all alone. Alone? <laughs> yes, alone. alone. Because he had to go to the little boy's room. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh. Me. Now, I'm going to tell you, that day I walked out of Hobby Lobby without spending a penny. Because I had there was something I actually wanted at Hobby Lobby, and they did not have it. But <laughs> it's <was> like, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, so this last time, okay, first off, the medicine didn't work quite right. And so I had a very, very, very bad day. Aww. And I, I still wanted to go to Hobby Lobby and he took me, but he came in and didn't leave me alone. <laughs> like, you don't leave me alone at Hobby Lobby when I'm totally out of it. I did come home and sleep the rest of the afternoon, though. So, one. Well, that was good. Two, three, four, five, six. We need more than that. We can't have just six. Seven. Seven. Uh, we'll put this piece in. Eight. Let's try eight and see what happens. Eight is a good number of pages for signatures. It just seems to be. So. Oh, okay. look, I'm covering all my pumpkins up. Oh, that doesn't work. But I, I had a good time at Hobby Lobby all by myself when he left me. Like, okay, Jeff, that wasn't the right part. Okay, we have one, two, three. I keep trying to use these little envelopes. My daughter gave them to me. And they just don't seem to be working. 
every time I try to use them, I'm like, well, that's not making me happy. Well, then just set them aside. They'll, somewhere along the line, they will make you happy. They will make me happy. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the case, Andrea. It's like, <laughs> it's like, ooh, yep. He he had, you know, he's an old man. He had to make a run for the bathroom. So that was just the day it was. It was, it was so funny, though, because the next day I said, did you realize you left me alone? <laughs> I could have gone out with the whole store. Like, oh. Yeah, lately when I asked Johnny to go in with me, mm -hmm. he's pretty good about coming in with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, are you coming in? <laughs> I might need help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, uh huh. That's kind of Jeff. Okay, that's a okay. Y'all remember how I had that lined out now? <laughs> that was It'll be all right. However it goes back, it'll be all right. Hundred and ninety dollars each for a shingles vaccine. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Because I've been talking about getting the shingle shot. Um, because Johnny's had them, you know. Which is not that unheard of when you're under under uh, treatments. Anyway, we've talked to his doctor, and the doctor said, yeah, he could take them, but he still needs to take his um, Baltrex, which is for the shingles, to help keep it from coming yeah. on. So, And I just, because well, that, that was about the time my issue started up, so now I'm like, I don't know if I want to do anything. <laughs> um. I've had shingles three times, so. Oh, my but, gosh. Well, but it was all before I was old enough to get that shot. And now I haven't had them in forever. So the other thing is they always come up on the same exact spot. So I kind of know it's happening. Yeah. And um, and I, I have pretty good. The, the last PA, this I haven't had it since we came down here. But the PA we had in South Dakota. When I told her what was happening, she said, um, "She she get there's a antiviral you can get if you get it quick enough." Yeah. And each time, now the first time was the worst time, and Brandon was five or six when I got it. All the kids got um, chicken pox. Chicken pox, and I got shingles. Yep. And I didn't know where it was. I didn't know what it was. So it was much worse than, um, than it could have been had I known what I was, what was going on. At the same time, I was a lot younger than most people get it older. But Brandon was nine when he had shingles. Um, which I was, we were just real surprised about that. Yeah. And I got them then, but because I knew exactly what I was getting, where they were coming up, I just went in and told the PA, I said, uh, I have shingles coming up right there. And she looked at my skin. She said, you're probably right. She said, what do you want to do? I said, well, I want that antiviral stuff for one. And yeah. um, because when I take it, 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 you know, it, it takes it down. If you catch it quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. The first time I couldn't lift my arm up, <laughs> you know, I was, I was in pretty bad shape the first time, but the last two times haven't been too bad. One, two, three, four, five. When Johnny eight, had them, they seven, were eight. awful. He, um, they came up in his armpit, his left armpit over his chest mm -hmm. area, and he had been hurting for over a week. We were on vacation and it just kept getting worse and worse and on our way home, the day we got back into town, we went straight to the ER because he thought yeah. he was having a heart attack. He finally decided he'd been hurting so long that he was having a heart attack. But of course it wasn't. It was the shingles. Yeah. And uh, his was so bad. See, the problem The problem is if they would just come up through, this, through the skin and do the blister thing, then it's okay. It goes away. 
Okay. Not that it's okay, but it goes away. The problem is when it's coming up, it's traveling through or next to your nerve endings, right? Right. So now you got this stuff coming up your nerve endings and it may never actually even erupt because that's what Tommy's problem was. His were not actually erupting. They were just jacking around with his nerve endings and uh, yeah, that was awful. He had a, um, he had a nerve block because the pain was so bad Mm -hmm. because you can't stay drugged. I mean, you just can't. No, no. Mm -hmm. And he had a nerve block and that just knocked the edge off (laughs) until he was on Valtrex long enough for that to, to help. Well, um, it was bad the first time I had them, but like I said, um, I was a lot younger and, um, I, I had a six year old. I I couldn't stop. So no, you know, you I had stop to just for that. I just kept going and um well, that's all right. You didn't derail it, Gail. Um I don't know. Jeffrey's had the shingle shot a few times, but we also have Blue Cross. So I don't know if that's why the shingle shot has not been that expensive. I don't I don't know because Good grief. Of course, everything's gotten more expensive. Um, they gave him a prescription the other day that uh, he said, I'm not taking it. It's not, what's what they want me to take it for. It's not bad enough to, to spend $300 a month. Yeah. And that was our portion of it. So, okay. And that's crazy, uh, isn't it? Yep, it is. So... Well, I know I, our deductible is met, which, you know, people go, oh, that's a good thing. Well, it is, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. It just means you've spent enough money that you've met your deductible. Deductible. And um, there are still some medications, the insurance, just they don't, they don't cover. Ours does not cover prescription cough medicine. At all. Oh, ours. See, At ours all. does because Jeff has Jeff has to have this horrible cough medicine. That's, um, Gail. Jeff is on Medicare, but he retired from the federal government, so we have medic. He has Medicare first, and then we have Blue Cross, which we pay for. I mean, but we don't have to pay what everybody else would have to pay. If that makes sense. When he went on Medicare, we still have to pay the same amount we've always paid for Blue Cross. But because he's now on Medicare, the only thing he has to pay is prescriptions, is his portion of the prescription. He doesn't have to pay any co-pays at doctors or anything like that under Part D. Yeah, see, and we have we have um, Blue Cross for the Part D. So... Okay, I am trying to decide what I want to do with this to close it because I think it's cute. It's cute. I like it. It's adorable. Um, totes adorbs. Um, and Gail Jeffrey worked two extra years for me. Um, when he could have retired, uh, he stayed two more years so that uh that two years difference pays for our blue cross every month that that's how much it it made a difference so oh somebody's having ice cream okay i have to i have to put something i have to do something to make this have a fun closure because you know it needs a fun closure and i could put could put uh hmm hmm what do i have that might be fun we have to use some of these fun things because they never use them
like I have fun stuff and I never use it. Why don't I ever use it? I have no idea. Because you don't get it out. Because you don't get it out. I know why. Uh -huh. Well, and it took me a while to figure out how I even liked to use my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm hmm. Because I know a lot of people, and I did too, store their stuff, uh, you know, and by colors. But that didn't work for me. Yeah, I didn't doesn't work for me. know what color I want. And then what did I want? Did I want a heart? Did I want a paper doll? Do I want a piece of paper? I mean, I didn't even know what I wanted. So for me, raffling through is what works. Yeah. I and raffle the, through it. The other thing I am finding is that it's like, okay, these, these little things I made Sunday. Yeah. Okay, I have these little boxes like this that I specifically got to put all this stuff in. Yeah. But it doesn't work because it's not where I can get to it. So, <laughs> um, I am in the process. I have a, a, a little drawer unit beside me. Yeah. It has all my jelly plate stuff in it. But I can move the jelly plate stuff to a basket somewhere. And when I jelly plate, bring it over here. So I actually have out this basket that fits in the drawer that I'm going to divide and see if putting that stuff in the drawer will, you know, kind of make it where I can use it better. Yeah. So yeah even, got... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Even these things like this, I wasn't using because I, I there they weren't where I could get to them. They were in the other room, so mm -hmm. now I, I have to, you know, you have to hang them around your neck for them to be accessible. That's probably true. True, Dennis. Too true. Mm -hmm. I keep my stuff on Ross Cogs. Those rolly carts. A oh, rolly cart. Yeah, I, I. I love them. I've got one on the right, one on the left, and two around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> it seems that if I put it in a cabinet or put it away, I don't see it. I don't necessarily think about using it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've found that for me, actually seeing it, which means everything looks very chaotic, you know? Yeah, but it, it, it's out where you can, out. But you can find it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's when oh, I look. move stuff and put stuff away that I can't find it. Doesn't oh, that look like perfect. it? perfect. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's perfect. Except that it's sharp, so I'm going to have to back it with something. Which yeah. is all right. I can do that. I know how to do that. Well, you should. If not, I can walk you through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that is, you know, that's another thing about, like, my, my rubber stamps. I have so many, but I can't use them because I don't have the, I don't have room to keep them around me. So that's why I want to spend a day uh, just stamping on tissue paper and stamping on paper and having those in a in like a little tub that I can grab and right. use. And um so that's kind of a kind of a plan. It's not a great plan, but it's kind of a plan. Yeah. Cuz I've got my stamps in journals, you know, or binders. Yeah, in binders. Which I like. But I find myself using the ones that I have just stacked up. Because I haven't put uh -huh. them away yet. Those are the ones I'm using. I'm not pulling out different ones. So I've been thinking about changing it and putting them on uh, cards, like in, lack of a better term, in a, like in a shoebox so I could just flip through them like this. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, Gil. Have a great day. Thank you, darling. And and I have changed some of my stuff, like my embossing folders. I just recently showed that that I put them in um, 
in a binder, which mm. so far I had to I had to actually go to two binders, but so far it looks like it's gonna work pretty well. Um we'll find out you know how that goes yeah because, you know you have to use something for a while to find out how it's going to work yeah if it's going to work the way you yeah the way you work yeah, way that's, you that's what it okay. is it's the way you work right because i've got mine are in a box over there um yeah by by my do lawler right so well see and i don't have as much counter space as you have so i have to <laughs> Um, I do have counter space. It's pretty piled high. <laughs> uh, oh, that's uh, gonna that's gonna work real well. Looky there, guys. Oh, how it's, lovely! And that will I'll just glue it to the back back there, and then then it will um, stabilize that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. So Bye, Julie. One, I I need a bunch of I need three or four of these. Bye, Julie, hun. She got to go to work. Oh, poor girl. Bless her heart. Yeah. I think I want. Okay. I'm letting my paper doll. She's still drying. It takes a long time for them to dry. Yeah, it's because they're when shiny. You, when you paint them up. And it does take practice to paint on those too, by the way, even with the markers, it, you know, cause, cause they do, they are coated. So they, yeah, they, you know, all you have to do is touch it and it's wrong. Friday. Or you got a fingerprint and yeah, all mm -hmm. that. Oh, that's right. It's Friday for Julie. I forgot that. Okay. All right. Now then. Oh, I need two of those. And mom had these drawer units in her sewing room, and they have been, when I redid that part of the studio, things are just so much better than what I had before. It's just that I think I need to still rearrange. It's just like putting all my. Um, what do you call it? All my jelly plate stuff in one place. Yeah. Thinking, oh, that's what I'll need. But that stuff I don't get into all the time. It's just like pulling out these little clamps. It's like having them in that little drawer really made a big difference. Makes it, it so can. much easier. It can. Yeah. So. Yay! Janice is off until Tuesday, so she gets to play. To play. Nice. Getting that long um, Labor Day weekend. Isn't that what it is, Labor Day? I didn't think it was Labor Day till next week. Oh, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know when it is, y'all. You know, I'm maybe, uh, I'm yeah, maybe I don't wrong. Know. I don't I don't Okay, know. so I'm I actually put some glue on this little thing so that it would if I get in there. Come on now. There we go. So that it would stay on these little pieces of cardboard because i just i need it to have not be so sharp the back side of that was sharp if i'm going to put my um rubber band around it okay so i guess maybe i need another one okay let's see here all right one more and I really love these little Dollar Tree clamps. Yes. Do you? Because I've not, I don't think I have any of those. Um, okay. I have the little ones and I have the big ones. And I don't use the big ones there as much, but these little ones I really like. I had some other kind of clamps. I have Labor these. Day is Monday. Okay. Well, woohoo. I was right. Harbor Fre no, Janice, this is not a Harbor Freight Punch. This is actually a, um, what do you call it? A Lindstrom tool. This is a jewelry tool. Um, kind of a pricey one. Uh, you can buy less pricey ones, but this one has a changeable pin. Um, I have, this one is round and I have a square one as well. 
This one will punch through um, copper sheet. Sweet. But Harbor, I buy a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight, but when I was buying this, I knew that I didn't want a Harbor Freight one. Yeah, see, you got those little pla those little plastic ones, and that probably would work just fine. I just this is what I ended up with. Yeah, I um, like these real well uh, because they've got the little doolaller on it that you can yeah. actually turn and, and pinpoint and pinch little tiny things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Harbor Freight likely has something like this. This is a one sixteenth inch. This one's round. I have another one in my jewelry drawer that's square that actually punches a tiny little square hole. But I just punched through four layers of cardstock glued together. So that is, I keep it here because I do use it for that. Oh, I got to punch a hole in this. Yeah, I have to punch a hole in that. Punches through like butter? Yeah, I like butter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I press pennies, I can punch through those pressed pennies with this. Oh, hey, Sandra. Um, hey, Sandra. I need, I need my, oh, this thing, oh, squish, squish. Okay. Um, she's still not dry. I'm still touching her and she's still smearing, so. Uh-oh. Well, she's going to have to be the last one on, I guess. Which just as well, she's probably going to mostly be on top anyway. Okay, let's see. This looks like it's two and a two and three. It two. It's two and a quarter. Okay. Probably need to put it a half an inch in, which means that I turned that around wrong. Let's turn it this way. Let's slide it down. No, that's yeah. That probably would work. I like that because then it will be right kind of in that. Okay, um, <clears throat> I must have cleaned up so well that I don't have an ink pen. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. It's funny, yes. Uh, I cleaned up so well. I, I just cleaned up so well. <laughs> when I clean up, I have to label everything. <laughs> I do. I have to, I'm like, you know, leave myself little notes and Yes, Janice. Um, okay, now you might get a less expensive one of these at Michael's or Joanne's. Uh Michael's or well, maybe Joanne's. Um, but look in the jewelry department. And if they have one that is a, a 16th inch hole punch in the jewelry department, it might not I mean, I paid, I paid probably close to forty dollars for these, um, but you might not have to pay that much for a pair in one of the jewelry departments, in one of the box stores, kind of thing. Um, and they might even online, you might find a less expensive ones, but look in the jewelry stuff. I mean, back when I was doing this much, oh, see, and that's going to make me grumpy. Well, we'll just not worry about it. We'll put it closer to the edge. It'll be all right. Oh, yeah. plug in my computer. Uh-oh. Okay. Done. I mean, you might even be able to buy them online. Um, I got these from Rio Grande. Just as an FYI. Um, Is that a store, Rio Grande? Uh, no, it's a jewelry catalog. Ah. Um, company. You know, they sell they sell uh, jewelry tools and um, silver wire and silver stuff. And okay, did I just get that too tight? Can you imagine that I got it too tight? Okay, let's turn it around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay.
And depending upon how big your buttons are, you could use your um your if you've got a crop a dial. The only thing with it is, is that hole is a little big. You know, it, it, if you're making a great big button, it would be all right. But it is kind of a big hole if you're um, doing it. But yeah, this thing will go through five or six layers of cardstock. So without any problems, I'm just covering up the pins on that brad because I don't like them sticking out there. So. Now see, I've got, I guess it's a 16th or an 8th inch little yeah, dot. I'm six, I've got a 16th like that, and I've got a 16th inch one. I'll show you. It's a deep, um, I could have gotten it out probably because it would have punched this one. Um, it's a deep, um, yeah. A long reach is what it is. It's called a long reach punch. This is a standard 16th inch punch. Oh, I guess the long reach one is put away. But I have one that is like real deep like this. So that you can reach in a long ways. But that neither one of these will punch through five or six layers of stuff. So I just... Ah. Okay, but now I think we're going to put, I think what I'm going to do is put a, uh-oh. Hmm. Don't say that. Why am I disconnected? I still hear you. Am I? Okay, Jamie's froze. Jamie, are you, no, no. she's not frozen. No, okay. I'm just holding down glue and stuff. Okay, well, my what happened to your little plate that you put stuff on? Your weight that you put things on? Ah, uh, weight on it. It's just right here. Uh, put um, the weight on. I wait for it. All of a sudden, my um, headset disconnected, and then it connected again. So I don't know what's going on. I um, didn't do it. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. <laughs> okay. So so now we need an eyelet, don't we? We need an eyelet. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I have some pretty eyelets, but do Thanks, I have Thanks, Sandra. Bye-bye. Or hi. Oh, okay. Go by. Bye, hon. Oh, I've got <laughs> a turquoise one that will work on that back there. Will that work? Yeah. Oh, that's a big eyelet. Oh, a big one. It's a big eyelet. That's pretty big. Yep, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So I gotta get this through there. Oh, but that comes right through with. No, that's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Mm -mm. No bueno on that one. Oh, and I just threw stuff on the floor. I don't like it when stuff falls on the floor. I may have to go to the other room because I still haven't fetched all my eyelets out of the other room. So I think I've got some in here. Yeah. Oh, we need a gold one. A gold eyelet. Ooh, it's like real gold. Yeah. Look, this one is a gold eyelet with a little flower. Oh, sweet. Do we want the shiny one or do we want, the, I think we want the antique one. Okay, antique one it is. That's if it doesn't pop out. Yeah, um, um, my headset just went out is what happened. So, um, but then it came back on. So I just had to. It's okay. It's all good now. We got it. We got it sorted. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that will work. I don't think it will come through easily. So that's the eyelet we will put in.
Okay. I need to find the middle. Again, I need to find the middle. I, um, Yeah, that's it, Janice. That that purple one won't punch hardly anything. So that's why um, I like to use the other one. Um, we got to put the eyelet in before we... Oh, I miss having my tea fair at home. I may, have to, <laughs> I may have to go get my own tea. You might have to walk that way. Yeah, I might have to walk clear in there and get my own tea. That would be just, you know... So horrible. hard, to do. horrible, horrible, hard to do. Oh, that's not gonna work. Can't do it with that hand. Uh oh, uh oh. There we go. All right. Okay. So we have that. Where did my eyelet go? There's the eyelet. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to go get my piece of paper that tells me which thingies I use to set this eyelet in. Okay, come on. Why are you not going through there? I'm going to have to hit her with the heat gun because she's still... She's being mean. She just won't cry. Okay. 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 Hi, Kate. Kathy, we were talking about you. <laughs> Did you know that? I said I got to go shopping with you before you left. Okay, so I don't remember which one of these doodads I have to use. So This is what happens when you don't make enough eyelets and don't use enough eyelets with your thing. All I ever do is punch holes with it. So now I have to go get the instructions. But at least I know where my instructions are. We talked about you all ago, Calico. Mm -hmm. We did, we did. Just saying. Tommy kept saying, going, um, you know, Kathy, you know, Kathy, you know, Kathy. And Kathy, I'm thinking, Kathy Kathy. Kathy, Kathy, who? Kathy, Kathy, who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, I, I said that I got to, at, uh, Jamie told me she was jealous when I got to go shopping with a like-minded person. And um, I told her I was sorry about that. And then I told her I really wasn't. <laughs> yep. And, I, and when you come back in December or whenever. Okay, let's see. This would be an eighth inch eyelet, right? Yeah, this would be an eighth inch eyelet. So I have to have I get jealous. People okay. shopping and, and buying stuff I don't C have. And three. C and three. Stuff like okay. that. How do I tell which one is C and which one is three? Does it tell me? Nope. Don't oh, maybe I maybe I have to have other glasses to read that. Probably this pair. Yeah, I get to go shopping, but it's been too hot to go shopping. 
Yeah, um, it really has Helen, been. Helen and I have not been shopping at all because it's just been too hot. Okay, that's the three right there. And then C, that's D, and that's C. Yeah, you have to have the right glasses on to be able to see that thing. Sometimes okay. it helps. Mm-hmm. Now then, which side do we put where? Oh, first we have to push this thing. Mm, okay, I'll bet you we put it in there upside down. Is that what it tells me to do? It doesn't tell me. <clears throat> okay. Uh -oh. Well, I'm sure that's the way. Oh, yes. Now it does tell me right there if I would read the thing. If I, re if I read the instructions instead of not reading the instructions. You're supposed to read the instructions, Tanya. Uh-oh. Sometimes I don't want to read. I'm going to have to stand up. <laughs> Ah, uh, but I have a secret admirer. Oh, Jamie has a secret admirer. I have a secret admirer. I do have a secret internet admirer. I do. They spoil me rotten. Mm. I love that. Oh, I don't even. No. I have. I don't even have a clue who it is. Oh my goodness. I know. You would think I would. Every time I thought I figured out who it was. It wasn't them. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm going to quit guessing. But reading the instruction takes all the fun out of it. That is true. But when when I don't want to have a mess up, I have to read the instructions once in a while. So now I have an eyelet in the back. See? And I have a little doodad on the front. And I'm going to put <laughs> the elastic -y through the eyelet. And then, see, it won't, because the metal thing, okay, you better not go through there, because if you go through there, I've got to be grumpy. Don't be going through there. I may have to glue it down. Yeah, I might have to, because it might go through there. So, I will do yeah. the glue thing. I'll it do the might. glue thing. Yeah, I might. And I don't want it to do that. I don't. No, because then it pop, pops you in the knuckle and then it hurts and then you get right. mad. And, okay, well, I'm talking about for myself, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then I might say a bad word, which, you know, I have so far, I believe that I have not said any bad words on camera. I always just say fork it. Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not looking at the screen, are you? Oh, there's the fork. Okay. <laughs> fork <it. laughs> oh, I don't know why that's out here, but I thought well, it was I have, funny. I have tacky glue, and I, I'm going to use tacky glue for that. My favorite. Mm -hmm. I know. And that's one reason why I'm going to use it, because it's your favorite. But it's more importantly, favorite. because because what, what I'm going to glue needs tacky glue. Because this thing won't stay good if I don't use tacky glue. Yeah. So we'll put some tacky glue on there right like that. And then we'll put some. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want my paper in my tacky glue. Ugh. No, don't do that. No, 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 no. But do you have some pretty paper to put over the top of that? That would help keep it from popping through too. Uh, I'm going to put this over it. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I don't be paying you, Tony. Okay. Well, that's don't fine. Be paying. <laughs> uh, I, I probably could put some prettier paper over the top of it, but that's what I put on the front. So I thought maybe I'd just put the same thing back here. I might have to I might have to get a bigger piece though, because you know yeah. that, that one might not be big enough. We'll see. We we will squash it with this thing. 
and see if it works and put one of these little guys on <laughs> and then we'll get another mm, I need a bigger one I need a big one oh, it's good jabbing people get a little too close four candy keep a four candy in case of emergency frustrations there you go mm -hmm. I'm sure that's why Jamie keeps it handy mm-hmm I'm, I'm not sure why it's out here. <laughs> it, could be out here it could be out here just for when I make those little mistakes and I have to say something like fork it. Mm. It could be why it's out here. It could be it was in a bag of something else and that's just where it got. Or you brought it out here to paint with fork with a fork. Something we did paint. I had to pay. We had to paint with a fork. Yeah. Oh, it might have been the Abandoning Perfection journal that Lisa and I did. Oh, maybe. It might have been paint with the fork. Either that or it might have been, it might have been um, the scavenger hunt. The Abandoning Perfection, is, is that was fun, fun stuff. Um, Just saying. Yeah, we, we had fun with that. We really did. Um. But I've had fun doing the um, scavenger hunt each year, too. Okay, that needs a bigger piece of paper. It needs actual paper, not this piece of cardboard, because the cardboard works, but it needs to go down further. So we will just get a bigger piece of paper and put that over the top of the cardboard and everything else. And we will make it kind of gold and kind of turquoise and just kind of use that piece because yeah it, it just needs a bigger piece of paper so it has a card stock but now then it's going to have paper okay yeah that's that's what we'll do and it tanya did not put a plug in her art glitter glue which is not a good thing Plasticware Tooth Fairy. Ooh, a Plasticware Tooth Fairy brought it to you. Maybe you had intended to have cheesecake or something, you know, while you were out there. Oh, well, you know, that could happen. Mm -hmm. I like the cheesecakes. And my wet glue know. made my, my marker come back alive. Yeah, see, that looks a lot. Uh, let's just, just fix this. Uh -huh. So if you notice it, don't notice it. Okay. <laughs> See that it's it's kind of bumpy, but the paper went over it pretty good. Come on, focus, focus. There. See, it's got a bump, but it's focused. And then it will go around there. I don't want to pull it on there right now because it, I don't want it to pull until I've got it glued but it will go like that and go underneath the little thing ah what a cute little book i think it needs some ink what do we think do we think it needs some ink uh i'm always hit and miss on ink i can't you know sometimes i do sometimes i don't well i think it needs some purple ink i think i have purple, purple? Well, yeah it needs purple yeah, I'm thinking it needs purple ink. You didn't oh, specify cool. purple. Oh, yeah, purple ink. Uh, of purple course. Ink. Um, thank you, Sue. I'm going to get I'm going to get me some rubber stamps. BRB. Okay. Purple ink. I think I have purple. I think I think Okay. There is a pretty turquoise. I could do turquoise if I don't have purple. I got a tur a, a pink. Ah, I have two purples now. I think that one is what we'll use, but I have to have a something to 
to ink to find out if that's what I want to do it with. Do on it. Do yeah. There's a little scrap. I can try it on. Is the uh, Sue? Did you see what the original was? Um, the original last Thursday. Last Thursday. Um, Barbara and I jelly plated, and this is what Jamie used as the original. I sent, well, or it wasn't exactly the same because it, um, it, it, by, by scanning it, it got changed a little. And then she, um, printed it out and it was just a touch darker yellow than this one when she printed it out. And then she went from there. <laughs> yep. That that's true. Uh-huh. Um, and I printed it out. Um, this one's on cardstock. Then I printed it out like that. And that's just on copy paper. And then I printed it like that, too. It's funny that it's all the same one. I think that's just crazy how different these two look. Anyway. But that's kind of what I like about it, though. I I like that, too. I do keep my letter stamps in a drawer by themselves. It's because I know if I'm going to, you know, stamp something out, then they're all in there. And I know I have, I know what I have to pick from. Mm -hmm. yeah. Out of all the things, I do keep those all together. And I evidently like letter stamps because I have a whole drawer full. Just saying. Because it's true. I want more number stamps. A lot of my letter sets do not have numbers in them. Really? Because I think most of mine do. Yeah. This one um, does. This is um, a recollections. Yeah. Uh, the, like, especially these little ones. See, these, these, these don't have any letters in them. Oh, or any number yeah those yeah i have a lot of those too they don't do they yeah now um but then i also have this set of numbers which i really love this is a set like for uh for making calendar because it goes to 31. <laughs> it's like okay goes to 31. i'll have to get sheets off the line yay Okay, um, I'm trying to decide which purple I want, so that's, you know. A pretty one. Pick a pretty purple. Well, I, I, I only have two, so, um, I, I have to decide which one is the, they're both pretty, so see, they're both pretty. It's just which one, oh, does, which yeah. one fits, and I, I'm right, this is the first one I picked, this one. Well, then that's correct. Oh. Perfect. Yeah, that one is, yeah, too blue, so. It's perfect. Kind of knew that was going to happen, but. Well, that's okay. That came out okay. We can't see. you off. Oh. Oh, the, up there. Okay. It is darker there than it is in real life. How funny. Uh, it's amazing how, um, things can change on the camera. That's wild. Because I was just thinking I'm a, I need to go over it with the, um, the marker pen. But not too much over it. Because I want it to look... Ode, like it says, ode, 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 uh huh, ode. Okay, I gotta slide these this away so I can get that on there, on there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it really does look a lot darker in the screen. That's funny. Samson stencils are easy to find. There you go. I have I have gotten my stencils sorted out a little bit too, which just made them a lot easier to get to. Um, I put the small small ones in a binder, and then I put the big ones. I I bought a twelve by twelve album at the thrift store, and I put the um, the bigger ones that didn't fit in the standard pages into. Um, the 12 by 12 photo album. So that worked out real well. <laughs> you know what I'm finding myself doing, Tanya? You're well, talking and I'm just nodding my head in agreement. <laughs> yep. And I can, I can just, I can hear your brains rattling. <laughs> oh, hang on. I got to take this one. Hang on. I'll be back. Okay. All right. You wouldn't know that it took all afternoon to make such a tiny little journal, but it did. So, oh, well. That was dusty Concord, by the way. I really, that's a pretty purple. Okay, are we about dry there? Well, we're getting there. Okay. All right, let's stretch these back out like they're supposed to be. All right, now I'm wondering. Jamie does this thing where she puts a second color along the edge, and I'm wondering. If it'll make a difference. She usually uses black along the edge, so. I don't know if this turquoise will show. No, I think we'll put the black along the edge because that does make a difference. It does make things pop. That's if Tanya can find her black stamp pad because it got up and left somewhere. Uh, yeah, Sherry, that's true. Um, now, I didn't, I didn't buy much in the way of supplies when we lived in South Dakota because it was two and a half hours to the um, uh, to get to Hobby Lobby. But um, I wasn't doing this kind of stuff. However, um, the UPS man knew exactly where I lived because uh, he would bring about about 200 pounds of glass to me every month. Um, from a couple of different companies. I usually ordered it in... Um, 45 to 50 pound boxes because I, I, I if it got too big okay, of a box then they would they would it would get broke but okay I, I did the um the black on the edge trick did you I love that when I mean mm -hmm. I to me it is just so it it just really makes everything jump out I think I don't know. My supplies went walkabout. Yeah, sometimes they go walkabout. That's that's what happens. And they're right here on the desk. So, okay. You know, that happens to Johnny, too. We were talking about that the other day. It's like I lost something, and I never even got up and moved. I'm, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says yeah. it happens I, to I, him, too. I didn't move away from my desk, but it was hiding. I like it. Look how it came out. It came out so cute. Sweet. Flow journal. That's what this is. It's a flow journal because you could take these pieces of paper out if you wanted to.
Oh, that came out so cute. I think that's just adorable. But now, do I want to do something to this? Do I want to make a page? You do that one, yes. Yes, you do. I, prob I probably do, but at the same time, um, it's, uh, it's going on four, and I probably don't want to start something big. So, Tanya would probably be happier if she took the pages out. Mightn't she? I don't know. Cause I, I like working flat. Yeah. I, yeah um, I do. The only problem with working flat in this one is going to be the fact that my page, I've, I was thinking about doing double pages. So, let's see what happens if we take the whole signature out. Because I'm thinking about putting paint on some of these. Yeah, that means, you know. That, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's not going to work so well. Because, you know, the elastic band doesn't do that. So, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Don't like that. Nope. Nope. So, so what do we want to do? How do we want to do that? We could take out two pages at a time. Let's put it back in and see what we want to do. We really want to work on it. Okay, so let's see if I took out these two pages. These are two pages together. And I did this. Just like that. You've already said you can take out the two pages I want to work on. That's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, yep. I, I figured that one out <laughs> without reading. <laughs> if I were, I'm having problems with instructions today. <laughs> little washi tape that's what i was thinking washi tape um to to hold this one in place but that means tanya has to figure out what she did with the thing of washi tape because i had some out here on the table yep yep okay there we go oh, oh, oh. that maybe like that and then but you know I do kind of want it to be oh because see then I could work on a bunch of pages at once too let's see here. yeah uh-huh I should have taken out the first two pages but I didn't so I'll just do that differently on the next because see then I could take out Okay, I could take out the next signature if I took out the first two pages. Next time I'll take them out uh, uh, properly other than this thing, but this time I'll just do it like that. Okay, so that means that I'd be working on that page and that page like so. Because I also don't like using the heat tool, so that would let me work on more than one page at a time if I'm using paint, right? Yep. Because, yeah. you know, I thought maybe I might finger paint, which, you know, I don't like to do. Never. No. Mm -mm. We need some bright lime green, right? On these two pages. Yes. See? Lime green. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. 
I'm green. Smooshied. This one is Inka Dinka Do Stamps. I actually think that's the um, the company that uh, I got the the camping stamps. Well, one of them says trail rides and uh -huh. you know that kind of stuff. So they tend to make cutesy stuff, and I do have some cutesy stuff. Yeah, but I don't think of myself as a cutesy person. Well, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not either. I don't buy a lot of cute. I have a lot of cutesy stamps because in, when I had stamping up stuff, I, I got a lot of cutesy stamps because that's what, you know, I got for yeah. doing parties and stuff, but I haven't bought that kind of stamp. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to call this one done, I think. Well, it's perfect timing because I'm probably going to stop in a few minutes. I really like that. Let's see it big. Let's see it big. Oh, that came out really cute. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I have really had no plans other than I was going to try to make it into a, a page, a journal page, which I think I've done. Uh -huh. Now, my next question is, are you going to, um, are you going to eventually bind that in a book or? Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, that I will. Cool. cool. I like to work flat too. And that's. Um, well, and I like, I really like working on the card stock. I, of course, I have all different kinds of journals, but. But for yeah. me, these work really well because I, I get so many jelly prints and all that. And, yeah. you know, I can just pull one out and play with it. And if I end up cutting it up, you know, to make tags or whatever, that happens too. Yeah. Well, and the thing of it is, is that like, like doing my, um, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing, guys. I'm just yeah. playing with the paint. Which I really like how that looks. Uh, I'm, I'm, I do too. I'm, I really I'm liking, like those colors. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, oh, I hate these paints though because they don't open. There we go. I needed some. I needed some some sparkly. So, what color is sparkly you gonna use? It's it's silver. Oh, we'll see. Silver. Let me tell you the best silver paint I have. Hang on. I got to pull it out. Didn't take my headphones off. Because it's in a hidey hole. You know, a lot of the silver paints, once you put them on uh, paper, they yeah. actually end up looking gray. Yeah. Vivid Ultra Metallics is the best silver ever. Huh. It is silver. I mean, it's silver. I painted it on a t-shirt one time, and it's silver on the t-shirt. Wow. With, with that said, I also highly recommend the Molotov chrome, Liquid no, Chrome. Yeah, um, I think I saw you use that Liquid Chrome in a um, in a journal or on a yeah. page or something one time, and. I'm like, ooh, I may have to get me one of those. You could say it's silver, but it actually is more of a chrome than a silver. Right. But the it's trick, very, very there's a shiny. trick to it. Do okay. not use it on porous surfaces at all. It so, will not, it will not be chrome and it will be a gray. It won't even be a nice silver. So over top of a uh, Mod Podge or something yeah. like that. A seal, a sealed surface. Mm -hmm. This you can put on paper and it will be silver. You might have to put a second coat, but it will be silver and not gray. And mm. this gold, I recently got this gold. I say recently. Recently could have been this year <laughs> as opposed to last year. Okay, y'all. This is a Deco Color Premium Prime Premio. <laughs> you know, it's a gold. It's Marvy. Huh. And again... 
you want to use it on a sealed surface. Surface. Yeah, because I mean, and and it's really pretty. Let's see if I got something to, to show it on. Okay, here's plain paper. This is just plain paper. It does have a squirt lid, but yeah, you know. Well, but it's really shiny. Just um, of course, it's going on white. Let's see, if I got a. I don't have black, but I got red. Let's see what that looks like. Really, you're not going to be that silvery look. It is. It is silver. It will need two coats. Yeah, but I can see where what, um, Barbara. Yeah. And if I had a place to store the bin that would make it where I could look through it, that might work. That's why I've kind of decided, though, that the um, the notebooks might work better for me because I can take them off the shelf and, and look at them. Yeah, the gold did come out pretty gold. Yep. And, and, and shiny. that's the chrome, it's which it's it's a nice silver but it is just brilliant when it's on a sealed surface. When it's on it a sealed really surface. Is. Hmm. I mean, I just, and I found out about the Vivid Ultra Metallics from um, Patty Tolly Parish. Yeah. Because she, she likes her metals. She does like her metals. Yeah, you can see how, spark, how shiny yeah. that is. Yeah, and, and this this is pretty silver, but it it's gonna dry kind of gray. Yeah, I'm I'm not knocking your silver. Don't get don't. Yeah, don't oh, I I I totally agree with you. That's one reason why I tend to use gold instead of silver. Yeah, because the, the gold seems to be more shiny in most of the metal. You have to things. order it online. They don't have the it in vivid, store, of course. Vivid, yeah, the ultra vivid metallics. Okay. Yeah. Um, of course, they have all different metallics, but that's the only one. I, I don't think I bought anything else from them when I bought this. And I've had this probably two or three years. Yeah, because you don't use it probably all the before, time. Yeah, because I don't use it very often. And then when I found that chrome pen, I was in love with that. And I, ha I got this. They do carry it at Michael's, or mine does anyway. And it to me, it's expensive. I think it's ten dollars for this thing. That's when you wait for Michaels to have a good coupon, because they don't usually put that kind of stuff on special. Right, and the the gold one, I think I got that. I may have got that from Michaels as well, but it's new. I, I say new. It's this year old. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do not remember how much I paid for it. But yeah, if you wait for when they put pins on sale, sometimes you can get a um, a better buy on those. I do not remember. I don't even have a clue how much I paid for this. But you know how cheap I am. Just saying. Just throwing <laughs> that out there. You know I'm cheap. So you know it wasn't over $10. I'm just saying that right up front. You know this wasn't over $10 at the time I bought it. Yeah, How it's probably it twenty now. now. You know, know, it's probably twenty now. Um, yeah, Barbara, that would, you know, it 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 all depends on what you got stuff in. Right now, because so many of my stamps are on wood blocks. Yeah, uh, I've got them in the in the laundry room, and they're taking up three shelves, three yeah. three foot shelves, because they're in boxes and on wood blocks. Plus, I've got two drawers in my map drawers, so. The thing of it is, is I haven't decided which stamps I want to take off the wood blocks, which stamps would be work better, because I'm pretty sure the wood on these is kind of a waste of time, you know, really yeah. and truly. I could take those off and and put them on a little on a little piece of plastic and in something and get rid of a whole thing. But these came from a thrift store or someplace like that and I, know, I just haven't gotten to taking them off that's that's on my agenda is to try to organize my stamps some way i've taken um, all of mine off the wood blocks except for 
Hang on, I got some over here. Except these. And that's just because I've not taken them off the blocks. Well, and you know, the I don't know that these would be very good off the block. Yeah, to see, tell you tiny, the, truth. the other thing is these tiny ones, like yeah. these. I don't think I want them off the block. No, I would not take those off the block. Yeah, I, I, I guess I should have said that. You know, I didn't and, take the and letters off. even this set that uh, Sherry sent me, like these, I think the blocks help yes. to position them. But, um, I mean, I've got so many. And this is one reason why I didn't buy the Dragonfly stamp. I have this I have one. bought that one three times, Tanya. <laughs> Every time I see that dang dragonfly, I'm like, oh, I need that dragonfly. I need that dragonfly. <laughs> and then I come home and I put it in my little pile over here. And I'm like, well, crap, I need that dragonfly a lot. <laughs> I think I well, finally stopped buying that one. Well, see, and the other one is very much like this one. And not the one you just got is a little yeah. bit bigger. But at the same it is time. Bigger. I have another dragonfly that's with my, I have, I have, three, yeah, I have three, it's got three butterflies and a dragonfly in it from Stampin' Up, and it's about, it's a little bit bigger than that one, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I have bought it at least three times, and it is, this one is bigger. <laughs> yeah. But this one is also a layering one. Yeah. So you've got that, you've got the dark or whatever yes, background you're and then make you've got me want the to go back again aren't you if they have it i've not used it so i don't know but yeah i'm i i love the dragonflies and i'm serious i have bought this one three times well and you as know you they can had see, a, i've not used it i've not used it the um the hummingbird had the layering and they had a yep. um butterfly that was layering I saw that. Yeah. I, I I didn't get any of those, but that's, you know. Yeah. I had to get the dragonfly because I couldn't not get it. And like I said, on this one, mm -hmm. I thought, I think it's a cute set, but I really mainly wanted got it for you, that for, for the postage cancellation because I don't care how hard you try, you, you cannot make your lines like do this. that no and no i personally can't carve a stamp that looks that's good i no. have another uh postage cancellation and it's fine but it's in two pieces and you cannot line up the pieces so that the line you know goes like that yeah and i have and it this annoys one. me i have this one and it has the little circly thing on it yes but I can put a piece of paper underneath the circley thing. Yeah. And so I have, and I have another one somewhere. I think it's in my stuff that I take to the camper. Yeah, I'm a postage cancellation snob. Yeah. Which is and weird because they don't even cancel our stamps here anymore. Oh, no. Ours have been getting scribbled on. Ours don't even get scribbled on. Yeah, uh, they've just been doing this big mark on them. Um, you see, you use that dragonfly. Sue wants you to, to use that dragonfly. The new one or the new yeah. and, the new and the repeated by? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. I have, I, I have, you know, I have a giveaway drawer because if you buy something like the two 3D yeah. Uh, Things, I'm not going to take them back to the store because to me, it's not worth my time to take back $5 to stand no. in line for $5. Uh -uh. I can put it in my giveaway box and somebody will eventually get it and they'll be like, yay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's. let's I, have, I, have, I have a giveaway um, thing too. Yeah. Okay, I have been oh, challenged. Oh, that's what the fork was for. Jenna says that's what the fork was for because it's, you know, because you bought more than one. <laughs> I, I, truthfully, I, 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 I don't know. It could have been out here for a while too, y'all. Just saying. 
I'm going to go get tea. Okay. Can you stay? Can you stay on for a few minutes? Oh sure. I, I'm I'm under no time constraints. Well, we're here, we're having leftovers, and Jeff's not even home, so you know. We're I'm having good. red beans and rice. Oh, I haven't fixed in any of that just lately, but um, I fix red beans and rice quite often. Because, you know, we have this special, special sausage here for red beans and rice. Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, we've got sausage, too, but it's just regular um, old folks brand. Oh, um, we, we like we that have, one. We have a local um, meat company that makes this stuff called Thompson's. Yeah. So, yeah oh man when you put it in there those red beans is nice and spicy and they just gorgeous i'll be right back so okay um don't don't um don't put those away because i don't see them when you're all done oh all right and now one of the tricks to to stamping images is you don't necessarily have to press real hard because you really shouldn't because that actually smashes out the line sometimes um, and you don't need to walk, woggle it or walk, um, you know, that kind of thing. You just want to hold firm pressure on it and let it sit there for a minute so that the ink actually transfers onto whatever you're stamping on. And that's not bad for a very first time stamp. Because, you know, you're supposed to condition them and all that hoololly. This one should be better. And if you have something, a cushion underneath, which I, I keep one over here, but of course I didn't put it under there. It's just a piece of foam. And I actually think that came in a packaging. I, so, oh, see that, that was sucky too. I'm not doing a very good job. Let's try it again. Pity pat, pity pat, pity pat. All right, let's try this one. See if that'll work. Oh, cancellation marks with the fork times. Oh, isn't that a good idea? Why is that not stamping very good? I'm so sad. You would think $3.75 would get you a better stamp than that. Well, I'm going to stop stamping that one because that one's making me sad right now. And it's one of those gooey ones. You know what I'm talking about when I say the gooey ones. Let's try the dollar one. Because it's adorable. <laughs> I obviously like it very much and have never used it. Or maybe I did use it once. I don't know. Not this one. Not use that one for sure. Might have to wipe that one off. Maybe it's my ink pad. Maybe I should put it this way over here. I don't know. Tap, tap, tap. Nice firm pressure, holding and holding. It didn't stamp very good, Tanya. I don't know if you can hear me yet. Yeah, I can hear you. Well, I could hear you the. I could actually hear you the whole time. That um, one stamped just fine the very first time. This mm -hmm. one is not. It's not stamping quite so well. Try it again. Let's let me do this. I don't know about y'all. But on my rinse water, you know, I keep a bucket of water over here all the time. Mm -hmm. I do put <laughs> dishwashing soap in there. I fill my bucket up with water, however much water. And then I just put a little squirt of dishwashing soap in there. It, to me, for, for me, I should say for me, it, it seems to uh, make a difference. Oh, mm-hmm. So let's um, try this again. I think she put the foam piece underneath there. And yes, okay. I did this and I, time. Okay. Um, and there's there's lots of reasons why sometimes those don't do that because they because it sometimes especially those acrylic stamps to me seem like they 
take a long time to um, to get happy with the ink. This one, the Dollar Tree one, what, that's was it happy the first right away. time. Straight yeah. up. And this one, that was the first time, yeah. second time, and third time. Well, um, the one of the girls says uh, to cover it with the second set of wings. There you go. See? That's a it's, little better. Yeah. Now, the ones where they didn't stamp real well, if you use the the layering part, I'll bet you come up with um, where it it looks wonderful. Wonderful, huh? <laughs> Sorry. Wonderful. Wonderful. See, the ink is not even wanting to stick to that. So it's got it's got junk on it. Something on it. Um, Janice says she goes over new ones with the emery board. Even and, the acrylic and, ones? I was going to say, we did that with the rubber ones, but I, I've never done that with an acrylic one. Yeah, this might just have two. And they, like I said, they these are the kind of the gooey ones. You know, some of them are gooey, um, some of them aren't. Yeah. The Dollar Tree is not gooey. I wouldn't say it's uh, not sticky at all, but it's not gooey. This one's kind of gooey. And I can see where the ink is transferring over on the back of it, too. So let's huh. see. Because I think this, this is a translucent. This is a French ultramarine. It's not too bad, but it did it did go on to the background where it shouldn't be. Just whining and complaining because I do that. That's my well, and what that's com my what jam. company what company was that? The stamps? Yeah. Um Hero Art. Yeah, and they're usually pretty good stamps, you know what I'm saying? It's they're yeah. they're, they're not, usually not bad, you know. Yeah. I'm not sure I've had their acrylic stamps before. I don't know because um, I I don't have as many acrylic stamps because the only ones I've been buying really were like really really cheap either at yeah the uh, at at the thrift store or um, places like that because I have so many stamps that to buy much of anything i i have so many um i do yes. have an off awful lot of um what do you call that uh cutesy ones that i probably will never use yeah i have given some of the some of my cutesy ones away but some of them i'm like no i really want that i might not yeah. use it but i still want it <laughs> yeah and that's kind of it uh, um, oh, I'll need to make a card or something, you know. Yeah. So Janice says, especially the acrylic ones she uses an emery board on. Really? Okay. See, I have this um, dragonfly. Oh, yeah. That's that really pretty one. That's a Stampin' Up, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old yeah. Stampin' Up. It's a 2001 set. It's called Wonderful Wings. Lisa found a set. Um, what do I want to say? I think she found a set either on eBay or somewhere because um, she got herself a set after I had used that set several times. So, so the Dollar Tree one worked right off the bat, but the right other one didn't work so well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Right well, I haven't bought it three times. <laughs> Oh. I'm yeah. I think I've only bought it three times. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, I need that. I need that dragonfly. That's what my brain tells me. I need yeah. that dragonfly. I need that dragonfly. I need that dragonfly. But it's got some pretty. Um, it's got some pretty butterflies in it too, and it's got a nice bumblebee and a nice, a nice um, uh, ladybug. Ladybug. Yeah. Um, this flower is really pretty. Yes. 
this rose, I'm not as likely to use that rose. Not no. that it's not pretty. It's just I'm not as likely to use it as I would maybe the stem or something like that. Yes. Yes. But the butterflies are great. So the butterflies you know. are nice. Yeah. Yeah. Bless my heart. Yeah. I'm just I'm a collector, y'all. That's why I that's why I have to shop Clarence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what collector. happens to me too. I collect all kinds of stuff. And it makes me so excited when I use something right after I first get it. I'm like, I yeah. actually used it. Yeah, well, look, I use paint. I, I, I actually used paint. And, and, you know. I'm pretty happy with my page. I like your page. I like my little journal. I started one, but that was as far as that went. I don't know. That well, you know, like I might be able time. to. I might be able to work on this if I if I use little clippies because yeah. it's not too bad. It, You'd you have know. to use clips. Yeah. And I did make this a pocket. Just saying. Yeah, and you know what else I might pocket. do? I might go back and actually sew these signatures in because if I want to work on it like that without pulling them out. I don't like the way the elastic does. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And I really think that since they're tiny, I'm going to want to work on a two-page spread. Yeah, I bet you would too. And then if you pull it out, you'd have to make sure you got it put right back exactly yeah, and, where it was. So I probably will take these out and sew them in because if I sew them in, Instead of having the elastic, they will stay in position better. Because the other thing is, is even this one, if I do that, it's going to move, you know. It's gonna move. Maybe, uh, do you have a long arm stapler? I do, but I, it won't take me much to sew them in. Yeah. It, it won't hurt my feelings at all to sew them in. Um, I can, I can uh, just do a... a Actually, I probably could just punch one hole, and well, I think I'm gonna punch two. I'm gonna go ahead and do, you know, like three holes, and yeah. and do it. Um, and I've got some purple. I've got some purple. Um, do lolly. Yeah. What do we call that stuff? Linen, That's wax right. linen. It wouldn't be a Jamie page without a pocket. <laughs> yeah, it's got a pocket. It's got a pocket. We got to have pockets. Yeah, it's real. It's real hard for me not. Oh, to put Barbara a said. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm. Oh well, is it that clever, Barbara? You know, I thought about that earlier. I could just sew the signature. Uh, what? And then I can remove the signature to work oh, on it. Signature. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. More like a real Midori. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It is. It would be. And then they would stay together. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then it would have the pretty purpley things on the outside. And I could work on it flat. Yep. That That's almost that sounds like a plan now. Yeah, you know, I thought about that earlier about sewing them like sewing them like I do for my. Um, I make travel a little smaller traveler's notebooks things to put in my planner, yeah. and then they go in my planner with the elastics. So, yep, okay, that's what I will do. That's what I will do. I will. I will do that. And there is my little thing, and it's going to pull underneath that. I love this little button that I found. That's adorable. That's I've perfect. had that. It was just waiting yeah. for the perfect place to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like these Apparently, we envelopes. got something. But that, yeah, that's going to have to just wait. Oh, oh, shucks. That's what I did with my jelly printed little book where I wanted the facing pages to be matchy matchy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
Yep. And I think I know what it is about these envelopes that keeps throwing me off. What? Because they're almost a square. Oh. I mean, you know, not quite, mm -hmm. but I think because it's not as rectangle as I would prefer. I don't know. I don't know. I'll make I don't know. Up it's something. cute. They are cute. They are yeah. very cute. That's why I still have them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, that's, they're cute. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I had another box since I couldn't find the first box. Me too. <laughs> Poor Jeff got blamed to throwing it out. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. He's used to that kind of thing, I'm sure. Well, okay. We have you know this giant island thing that that stuff gets piled on. Mm -hmm. He said, no, I don't, anything that's on the island, I'm not allowed to put in the trash. <laughs> I was like, well, that's probably true. <laughs> like, oh, there was far pharmacy bags laid on the island. Um, and, and, and there's toilet paper tubes put on the island. <laughs> it's like, okay, that's my collector spot. <laughs> yes. Because I've been putting plants in, in, um, I don't know if you've ever done that to start seedlings. Yes. I use toilet paper tubes to start seedlings. And so, um, and, and it's t this time of year we start seedlings again. That stuff dried real pretty. Yeah. And that's just two, two coats of the silver. Yeah. And um, I mean, I can see through it. So it's still kind of streaky looking for me. Uh -huh. But it looks good. I mean, there's yeah. nothing wrong with it. And the gold actually came out better than I expected on uh, an unsealed surface. But the chrome has has leveled itself a little yeah. duller. Uh huh. But Bye, man, Flo. they're Bye, they're Andrea. brilliant. This one is pretty good. This particular silver is pretty good. But anyways, I'm gonna go, guys, because you know. I'm tired. I got up at 5.30 this morning because I had to be at the doctor at 8. Uh. So, um, and with school and traffic, a 20-minute a trip across town is now, right now, at that particular time of morning, 45 minutes. So, I had to get up and you know get myself yeah. together and get all the stuff for mom loaded in the car because i did her shopping this week so anyways guys i love you for being here i'll see you sunday i don't know who's going to come play next thursday if i can play next thursday i'm going to have to look at my calendar um and see because I have so many doctors and all that mess that we have to do. Yeah. So thanks so much for having me, darling. I so appreciate it. Well, we have fun. I like it when you come and play with me. Me too. Thanks y'all for being here. It makes me happy. Bye everybody. See y'all.